requirements of the Market Octavia rezoning plan will permit a projected 15,000 additional residents to our neighborhood in the next 10 years. So how do you feel about this additional development being approved before there is a corresponding increase in muni capacity? Bill, I'll let you go with this one first. Um, I, I'm in support of it. Uh, I think, obviously, we've got a reform muni uh, vote yes on G. Um, so, you know, we can't wait for everything all the time. We can't wait for one thing to do with the other. I mean, analysis paralysis, right? So I think this building of, uh, is all in line, and I think it, is, I think it actually helps uh, market prices. I think it helps rent prices. I think it helps home prices, so uh, in full support of it. Rebecca? While we're going through the planning processes for all the locations, I know 16th Market and Noe's just been voted on. We've got the spot next to the community center. We've also got the spot at uh, Sanchez and Market. Um, we need to make sure that we are talking to the developers about how they can help us make sure that we've got the right money for beauty, make sure that we've got the right money for sidewalk improvements, Make sure that we've got the right money for all the things that work, all the infrastructure that's going to have to be created in order to uh, carry those 50,000 people. Thank you. Raphael. I think it's a very dangerous thing to be building, uh, bringing more people in without building in for the infrastructure to support them or providing the amenities to support them. And that is, in fact, some of what uh, has been proposed this past year coming out of the Mayor's Office of Economic Development was an effort to defer payment of fees to pay for things like uh, like transportation infrastructure. I want to make sure that we have the funding available to build that infrastructure and to carry those people. I do think we have a moral obligation to densify in areas where we can, where we can handle that density, but I'm not convinced that right now we have, we have the funding to do that. Thank you. Scum. Um, every, each of the projects is unique and has to be considered on its own merits. Um, I do know that there's an entire stretch between Sanchez, really all the way down to the LGBT Center, that really could use some more vibrancy, could use more people, could use, if we have retail with housing above it, more small businesses, and just more going on there to improve the neighborhood. But we do need to make sure that the infrastructure is there to support it. Uh, the state needs to get its house in order and stop raiding transportation funds, which is really driving Muni into a downward spiral. But over the next 20, 30 years, San Francisco as a whole has to dramatically increase public transportation along Market Street and elsewhere. All right, uh, thank you very much. We have your questions, which were 